How's it going guys? This is everything you're going to need to make your slingshot. You're going to need paracord, a lighter, scissors, crocheting hook, say this one's 6.5 millimeters, and some just a random piece of metal. Saying that's everything you're going to need. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to take your paracord. You want to tie a simple loop. Okay, so once you got your loop tied, you're going to take your crocheting hook and put it through the loop. Okay, and all you're going to do is use the hook to pull the other end of the paracord through the loop. Go ahead and just repeat the process. Okay, and you're going to want to do this until you have a chain of loops. Okay, and once you get it to about six inches long, then we're going to take this loop right here that we ended with, and bring it back, take your hook while you're still in this loop, to get back through one of the loops we already went through, make another loop, so you'll end up with two loops, take your hook, grab onto the paracord again, bring it through the first loop, and bring it through the second loop. Okay, and we're just going to want to repeat the process all the way down. Okay. Now what we want to do is bring it through our last loop. Instead of going, grabbing the paracord again and going through both loops, we're just going to take this loop that we have right now and bring it right through this loop. Okay. So what we're going to end up with is just one single loop again. I'm going to cut the paracord. I'll just go ahead and cut it a few inches down. Then we're going to want to singe the paracord. Okay. Then you're going to take that tag in that we have, pull it through, and then just cinch it tight. Okay. Now all we need to do, instead of cutting this tag end off, all we're going to do is take this tag in and we're just going to weave it back through. Alright, once you have that completed, you're going to want to go ahead and do this a second time. We're going to go ahead and make another one.
Okay, and once you finish crocheting those, you should end up with two very long rectangular pieces of paracord. Okay, and all we have to do now is combine the two. So what you're gonna do is take your paracord, stick it through back the first one, and take it through on the other side. All right, then you're just gonna make a simple knot. And you're just gonna wanna cinch it onto the end of the cinch piece of paracord. So now make it really strong so it won't come undone. Okay, so now what you're gonna to wanna to do, is you wanna measure this out. So you're gonna want about, about two feet is pretty good. That's about the length you want. Okay, once you have that cut, I'm gonna singe this end. Take your piece of metal. There we go. Okay, and you wanna do it to the other side. Okay, take it through the back side of one of your pieces. Okay, now go ahead and just tie it off. Make sure it's nice and tight. So once you have it nice and tight, then you can go ahead and cut that end off. So you're gonna wanna make this about two feet as well. Okay, once you have that done, then you're just take one end of your piece of paracord just going to, going to want to make a finger loop. So you want to do it around your middle finger. Tie that. And just cinch it tight. There we go. Okay. And once you're done with that, you should have a finish slingshot. All right, now let's go out and test it.